So why is it that you have to be so focused when you're in business? And how does that even affect you winning or losing when it comes to being successful in business? Understand this, many people, when they start a business, you have to hold wear many hats, right? You may have to be the marketing guy, the salesperson, operations, and even do accounting. You may do everything. Chances are though, you're probably not doing everything really good. If you don't understand when you start a business, yes, we've all got to do these things. We understand. And you know what? It sucks because you know that there's things that you hate doing and you probably know there's things that you don't want to do and it's not a part of who you are, but you do it anyways. As your business grows, you start delegating things. There's things that you don't have to do. There's things that you don't want to do. There's things that you're not even good at doing. Having focus on what you do best, that is the key. And that's where the money making happens. So many people, they think that because you started a business doing a certain way, that number one, you have some obligation that you need to keep having your finger in that part of the business, which I don't agree with. I think you hire the right people, you train the right people, you give them the right accountability and metrics to measure and let that person do their job. Don't get involved in their business. So many people have ego and pride and they think that just because they started a business, they need to be the ones that are having a say. I don't agree with that model. If you start a business, a business is successful because of leverage. You need to understand what you're good at and what you're not good at. And what you're not good at, you delegate out. What you're good at, you make that focus. And when you are laser focused, you will be much more successful than being spread out. People talk about multitasking. The reality is, is there's really no such thing as multitasking. It's called alternative tasking. Your brain has to turn on, shut on and shut off, shut on and shut off to doing certain tasks. Give you an example. I'm an airline pilot. Would you want me multitasking when I'm flying a Boeing 777 and I'm landing an aircraft with 350 people? Would you want me learning how to juggle at the time that I'm landing the aircraft? No. You want me focusing on what I'm doing. Well, because your life's at stake, that's why that's so important. But let me ask you this. Wouldn't you think the same thing should be done when it comes to your business? Wouldn't you want complete focus on someone doing their job? If they're doing marketing, you want them focused on it. Sales, same. Accounting. Don't you want someone focused on accounting to make sure all the bills are paid and they don't wash out your account and go overdrafting because, sorry, I was playing tennis at the time that I was doing your accounting. No, you got to understand that you have to have complete focus. The more that you can isolate and vertical every role in your company and get people to have complete focus in what they do, they're going to be so much more successful. It's when you try to blend everything. Normally, unfortunately, it's the leader that's the one that's blending stuff. It's not the employees. The employees want to do their job. They're hired to do a certain job. They have a certain skill set. Let them do it. Let them focus on what they're doing. Give them the tools to succeed. Make sure they understand the vision and the goal of the company and give them accountability to do it and metrics so that you know they're doing the job and let them go. You focus on what you do correctly and what you do good. You outsource what you're not good at, meaning employees or software or even virtual assistants and focus on what you do best. That's why you started the company. That's how you will win in the game of business. And that's how you will ultimately have the business and the lifestyle you want to have just by focusing on what it is that you do good and outsourcing what you don't do good so that you can have complete focus on that. <laughs>